Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video from Face Paint Forum Shop. I'm your artist, Sarah Lily Santoya. Let's get started. So this is a shark that um, I recently came up with. Um, I've used a lot of inspiration from other artists um, in completing this design. So I added some things, took some things away, <clears throat> and I wanted to show you today how I do it. So here we'll create uh, almost like a C shape. And I'm using my filbert brush. This is a Lowell Cornell filbert. Um, and this is this design is meant to go either on the cheek or around the eye. So here you can see the front of the shark is going to be a square shape. And the top part of, it, part of his body is going to be more thick than the tail. So keep that in mind. Here we're creating his tail and the shark tail is very different from the dolphin. So make sure you keep that as my, in mind as well. Now for this one, I really love using the color gray or silver. The one I'm using here is actually Superstar Silver and White. It's a one stroke that I made myself and I kind of just um, use both of those colors. I actually have a strip of black in there as well. And so that's why it looks a little gray. There we go, we're creating the bottom fin. Make sure that the top fin and the bottom fin are close to the midsection of this particular um, shark. And you can see how the fin on top um, is parallel to the fin on the bottom. Now here I'm taking my little Cornell round number three, adding his eye. And I, I put a dot down and now I'm going to make like a triangle shape. Here's his mouth. I also am doing the mouth in white. And this is a very 2D um, illustration. So now you're welcome to add white highlights if you want, if you use a darker gray. <clears throat> um, I think it would look awesome if you, you know, added white highlights to the darker gray. Now I've got my Lowell Cornell round number three, uh, loaded with Diamond FX Black. And here I'm creating the three, um, I'm not sure what you would call them, scales? <laughs> gills, I'm sorry, gills. And I'm outlining the bottom fin as well. <clears throat> Now these three stripes, make sure they go before that fin so it looks um, correct. You don't want to put them way at the back of the body. The great thing about a black outline is um, you can fix and shape out the design however you like. So here in the fin, I actually cut it um, sort of like he's been in, in quite a few fights, this shark. Um, so we went ahead and did that. You can do that on, on any part of the shark. Later on, I go ahead and, and make those little slits in his sharky fin um, just to show that he's, he's a fighter. <laughs> so here, make sure you do a fold that little piece and come down. That way you can, you can see through the illustration that um, he does have a fold. He is turning his body just to show that that is relevant. Here I'm cleaning up the fin. Um, with the shark fin, you can see one is longer than the other, the split. Um, I think that helps a lot, actually. Here you're gonna do a very thin line, and it's gonna line up with the top part of his eye. Now by this time, <clears throat> the white has already dried. So I'm gonna go around the mouth, thin to thick to thin, and we're gonna create his teeth, and this is very simple. Up, down, up, down. That's what you're going to do. Now we've got his scary teeth. Now for his eye, I'm just going to make sure that it's dry. Awesome. Here we're going to create the angry eyebrow. Come down. Come back in. And here at the top part, I love this top part because it, it shows so much more animation 
um, with the eye. You can leave it white. I prefer to leave it white. Or you can add a, a dot there um, to create more of a cartoony style shark. You can even add a, a nose nostril here. Now I'm using Superstar. This is Superstar Ceres. C-E-R-I-S-E. -E. It's my favorite red. And I'm taking my Loa Cornell round number three. And I'm going to outline the entire shark here. Now, like <clears throat> a lot of artists, they use white to outline and that looks brilliant. Um, for this one, I just, I thought maybe it would be cool if it was just outlined in red. Um, I've seen another shark illustrated uh, face painting design. And she uses red as well, not around the whole thing, um, but in certain parts. And I thought it looked really brilliant. And it actually doesn't take very long on the job at all. Now here, I'm going to add some, instead of white bubbles, which I've always done, I decided to add red bubbles. I thought that was kind of cool. And so if the eye is in, depending on where the child's eye is that you're creating this design on, just, you know, put the red bubbles here and there and everywhere and they'll love it. Alrighty, we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helps. And uh, be sure to visit facepaintforumshop.com for all your face painting needs.